Are you ready to build a budget, but you're just not sure where to begin? Should you focus on a budget that's focused on your goals? Should you try to spend down to the last dollar? Or should you try and come up with that ideal mix for your money? Well, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you three different types of budgets and how to pick the right one for you. Hi everyone, this is Camilla, the Focus Spender, and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I teach you how to get out of debt, save more money, and invest so that you can build generational wealth and leave a lasting legacy. So thinking about budgeting, a lot of people are like, I hate budgeting, I hate feeling like I'm broke. And I wanna tell you that Budgeting is not to make you feel like you're broke. Budgeting is to help you to prevent from becoming broke. The most profitable businesses, the most successful people operate with some type of budget. But the thing is, all budgets are not built the same. The common thread with all budgets is that it is there to help you meet your financial goals, whether it is to increase your savings, to get out of debt, to invest more, or to stop living paycheck to paycheck. Now, the key is finding the right budget that's gonna work for you so that you are actually able to stick to it. The goal is not to constrain you with your budget, but to provide you financial freedom and flexibility so that you can live the life that you want to live. So I'm not giving you an exhaustive list of budgets, but I'm giving you three of the main personal finance types of budgets that can work for you. So the first budget type that I wanna talk about is the zero sum budget, which was made popular by Dave Ramsey. In this type of budgeting, every dollar must be spent, meaning every dollar has to have a home. Now, it doesn't mean that you should create your budget and if you have anything left over, you should just go and buy more clothes. It means that you should be allocating your money every single dollar to something, whether you're allocating it to savings, investing, paying off debt, um, buying certain things for yourself, every single dollar that you bring in must have a home. So when you look at your bottom line, meaning you take your income minus your expenses, there should be nothing left. Now the key to this type of budgeting is that you do need to track your money for at least one to three months. So if you connect it to mint.com or something, you're gonna look at how you've been spending your money so that you can come up with every single category that you can possibly think of to list into your budget. And once you do that, then you're gonna spend some time evaluating how are you spending your money, which is usually an eye opener. A lot of times people don't realize how much you're spending in certain categories because they're not paying attention. But when you put it on to paper, then you're like, wait, a minute that's how much I spent on eating out so when you do that you can then create your budget to actually align with how you do want to spend your money the trick with making this budgeting type successful is that you do have to track your money on an ongoing basis so yes you track your money um, for the past three months to see how to build your budget but you also have to at least check in weekly to make sure that you're always on track with your budget so that if you see that you're spending over in one category then you can reduce in other categories so that you're not overspending and you're always meeting your goals the next type of budgeting that i want to talk about is the 50 30 20 budget so in this budget you're breaking down your budget into three different categories 50 percent goes towards your needs 30% goes towards your wants, and 20% goes towards your savings or investing. So when you're thinking about your needs, you're thinking about your housing costs, your transportation costs, medical, childcare, anything like that, they're saying that 50% of your income should go towards that. When you're thinking about your wants, you're thinking about clothing, um, entertainment, whether you're traveling for pleasure, things like that. 30% of your money should go there, while 20% of your money, at the minimum, I think, should go towards savings and investing. Now, this type of budgeting allows you to be really, really flexible because you don't have to sit and categorize every last dollar of your money. So you can say, as long as I'm saving 20%, and as long as no more than 50% is going towards my, you know, my needs, what I need to live off of, then my last 30%, I can literally do whatever with. And I personally love that type of budgeting. I don't like to sit and itemize every last dollar. I like to have that flexibility and freedom to just spend however I want. So I think this is a good framework for someone that does want that freedom, that does want that flexibility. Now, one thing I wanna say is that you don't have to limit yourself to just 20% of savings. If you notice that you know you don't have a lot of um, household expenses, you don't need that much money to live off of, 
and your needs are at 40%, while yes, you can put that extra 10% to your wants, you can also put that extra 10% to your savings because you know, who says that you should only save and invest 20%? nobody so if you do have extra money you can always bump up that money so that you're saving and investing more and the last type of budget that i want to go over is the gold-based budget that is how i got my name honestly when i think about you know how i became a focus spender it's because i came up with goals for myself and i said okay Everything that I do is gonna be wrapped around fulfilling this goal. So the purpose of a goal-based budget is to create a budget that is wrapped around a goal that you have. Let's say your goal is to pay off $10,000 worth of debt in the next 12 months. You're gonna divide that number by 12 so that you know how much you have to pay off every single month. Then you're gonna divide that number by two so that you know how much money you need to save from every paycheck to get to that $10,000 number. So the key to a goal-based budget is to come up first with your long-term goals. What do you want to happen in your life in the long term? And then you're gonna break that down into a short-term goal. How much do you need in the next three to six months? And then you're gonna assign a dollar value so that you're plugging that number into your budget and then you're building your budget around that. So if you're looking at your budget, you'll have your income, you'll have your expenses, your fixed expenses because you want to make sure that you're planning for those first and then you're going to come with your goals so your goals are going to be literal line items in your budget so that you are putting money towards those goals whether it's putting extra money to debt payoff whether it's putting more money into your savings whether it's investing more you're going to make sure that you are focusing on that and then whatever is left over, then you can use that for your variable expenses, the ones that you can be a lot more flexible with. So there you have it. Those are the three different budgeting types. Leave me a comment and let me know which budgeting type works for you. And definitely click on the next video that's popping up on your screen so that you are getting even more help creating your perfect budget. I hope you liked this video. I will see you next time.